Hey, what's going on, y'all? Tyler here with Tight Lines and High Tides with another surf fishing video out here in Melbourne, Florida. So a common question that's asked is what kind of rod do we need in order to get out and catch fish uh, on the beach? And in this video, we're gonna break down some of our favorite rods and our favorite types of rods that we use out here on the beach. And we're diving in right now. All right, so the first rod that we're gonna talk about today is gonna be our standard surf rod. And the one I have shown right here today is one of my favorite rods. It's actually a rod that I built uh, custom rod that I built, uh, but it is a, a 10 foot long surf rod. It's two pieces, so it breaks down pretty nicely. You can see it comes apart right here. It's a two piece, 10 foot long surf rod. Um, it is rated for a one to four ounce lure rating. And those lure ratings are really important because it kind of tells you uh, what your rod can throw out when it comes to the, the weight and size of your, of your lead or lure uh, plus the bait that you're tossing. So for most fishing that I do, um, I am using a anywhere from a two ounce to maybe a four ounce Sputnik sinker or a sinker. Um, and I usually am fishing with some sort of a pompano rig or double drop rig. Sometimes I'll switch over to like a Carolina rig, but for this rod, it's pretty much exclusively some sort of double drop rig. And then I'm fishing with either um, fish bites or sand fleas, fish gum, uh, maybe some shrimp, uh, some clam, you know, whatever, a smaller bait. But for the most part with this rod, what I am targeting is that fish that I'm going to catch most of the time. Not a specific species, um, but those fish that are just running out here, I like to come out and just catch fish. So if I want to be uh, an active, if I want to catch a lot of fish, I'm targeting what's out here most of the time, which are generally going to be those smaller fish like pompano and whiting. And so that's why I think that this one to four ounce lure rating rod is a perfect size, um, it's a perfect size rod for most your general, your fi general fishing applications. So the next rod up that we're going to talk about is going to be, again, another 10 foot rod. And this is another custom rod uh, that I built. But this is another 10 foot rod. It's a little bit beefier than the one I just talked about. And it's actually got a lure rating of two to six ounces. And I use this rod uh, probably more frequently than, than most of my other ones, especially here on the, uh, on the east coast of Florida where the waves get a little bit aggressive and the current gets a little bit aggressive. Sometimes you need to toss a little bit of bigger weight. Um, so this lets me throw out up to a six ounce weight uh, pretty easily, um, a good ways out. If you're going after those bigger fish, like bigger shark and stuff like that, maybe even tarpon, um, and you want a little bit more beefy of a rod, uh, then maybe you want to step it up to, a again, a 10-foot, 2-6 to six ounce lure rating rod. And now we're going to step it up one more time and talk about the third type of rod uh, that I like to have out in my beach cart. Um, is going to be my big boy which is another custom rod that I put together, but this is more my shark rod or my tarpon rod um, that, that I like to send out here. Again, this is, another, uh, this is another 10 foot rod, but this is much beefier and stiffer than the other ones. Uh, this is gonna be an extra heavy power rod, uh, but it's got a lure rating for two to eight ounces lure rating. Um, and um, really you can feel the weight uh, much more in this one. It's a lot bigger rod. Um, and I actually do a lot of shark fishing with this one, so I can launch, you know, six, uh, six ounce lead and put a nice piece of bait on there and send it a long way out and do some, do some real good work with this one. So the three rods that I just talked about, um, are actually ones that I use for more of the spiked fishing or spiked fishing is when, uh, you basically have your rod in a rod holder, um, and, and you toss your line out, uh, and you wait for that bait to come by. But um, that's spiked fishing. I use those 10 foot, I think that the 10 foot surf rods are perfect for spiked fishing. Um, it's definitely not something that you want to toss artificial lures with over and over and over again. Um, you, you certainly can do it, but it's going to wear you out really quickly. Uh, so if you're going to do a lot more like artificial lure type fishing, uh, throwing jigs, throwing spoons, plugs, uh, twitch baits, jerk baits, soft plastics, stuff like that, then you want to step down your, your size or the length of your rod a little bit in order to give you something more manageable that won't wear you out as you're casting on a long day of fishing. What I have shown right here, there's a couple of them that I have shown right here. Um, and this one is, is 
one of my favorites, and this is another custom rod that I put together a couple years ago. Love this rod, um, but um, what I recommend is having a rod in the seven to eight foot range um, that you can use for tossing artificial. And I pretty much always have a rod rigged up, ready to go with artificial lures for our, for our artificial lure fishing, just in case that opportunity arises and I see some fish uh, popping around uh, that I want to cast at. Um, but what I have here is an eight foot rod that's got a line rating of 15 to 30 pounds and a lure rating of three eighths to two, ounce, um, two ounces. So I cast anywhere from uh, you know, three eighths ounce or three quarter ounce jig heads with this particular rod all the way up to our big two ounce spoons and I reel those in and, and I do great with these. I can get it with the eight foot size or eight foot length. I can get it a long distance out there. That fast action tip really lets me feel and finesse those smaller lures. Uh, so really like that action on here. Um, and overall, it's a pretty lightweight rod as well. So, you know, definitely a little heavier than your smaller rods, but it won't wear you out too bad uh, after a couple hours of, of casting after fish out in the surf. So definitely recommend getting picking up around a seven or an eight foot um, rod for your artificial lure. I've got this one actually paired with, again, my favorite reel on the market, which is the Shimano Stratic, and this is in the C5000 series. Um, great reel. Pair that with some uh, Power Pro, 25 pound Power Pro braid and a fluorocarbon leader, and you're good to go. Um, and last but certainly not least, it's pretty much the same same type story. This one is actually just a store bought US reel. Um, spinning reel and um, what I wanted to show this one is basically to show you that you don't need a fancy big surf rod in order to surf fish right so this is just a standard seven foot spinning rod that I've got out spiked fishing um, out here on the beach um, it's got you know basically I'm fishing it the exact same way that I would my ten that I do my ten foot surf rods um, there are some limitations with a rod this small, but just because you don't have a huge rod and a surf rod doesn't mean you can't come out here and catch some fish. Uh, so the important thing is to get out and just fish, try it out, enjoy the sport, enjoy the hobby, and you won't go wrong. But what I'm fishing here, um, normally I'm fishing this rod, again, with artificial lures. And, um, you know, this one has a lure rating of three quarter ounce to one and three quarter ounce. So my smaller jigs and my smaller, smaller spoons, I'll throw with this guy right here. Again, I've got the Power Pro braid and I toss on some um, 20 to 30 pound um, fluorocarbon leader. Um, but a lot of times I'll just, you know, if, if I don't want to do any artificial and I want an extra, lo uh, extra rod, out uh, doing some spike fishing what i can show what i'm showing you right here is that you can take that same seven foot rod put a pompano rig on there put a two ounce sputnik sinker out there and cast it cast it far and catch fish with it with ease there's nothing preventing us from catching fish with this particular rod All right, guys, well, that about wraps it up for us today, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, do us a favor and click that like button down below. Uh, also, if you have any questions about the rods that we talked about today or even the reels or the general setup that I have, uh, go ahead and shoot us uh, uh, the questions down in the comments below. If you have any on, your own thoughts or recommendations on different types of rods that you like to use while surf fishing, uh, go ahead and drop those notes uh, down in the comment section below too. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see some more videos from us, be sure to click that subscribe button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.